Good morning, Hornets. It's a thriving Thursday here at VCHS. We're your host, Emerson. And I'm Mason. Let's start off with today's lunch. Today we'll have a cheeseburger with a side of baked beans, french fries, apple, and a cold milk. Next, here's this or that with Cameron. Reese's or Twix? Reese's. Twix. Reese's. Reese's. Twix. Left or right? The left. Uh, Reese's. Twix. Ooh, left or right? Right. Uh, Reese's. Perfect. Why don't we take a look at today's holidays? Today is National Pumpkin Day, Worldwide Howl at the Moon Night, National Day of the Deployed, National Chicken Fried Steak Day, and National Austrian Day. Let's take a quick glance at your top five news stories of the day with Michaela. Number two, federal indictment names two Kansas City businessmen for a kickback scheme involving nuclear weapons components. Number three, MTV canceled Europe Music Awards due to ongoing conflicts in the Middle East. Number four, a fourth grade teacher in Florida on leave for showing Winnie the Pooh horror movie to students. Number five, Chick-fil-A to pay 4.4 million settlement due to inflating prices. Next, here's Thursday's word of the day. This week's word of the week is gregarious. Of a person fond of company sociable. Here's a homecoming recap. Hi, I'm London Wilson, and today we're going to ask people what their favorite moment from homecoming is. Um, my favorite moment is when we ate Chick-fil-A on the car hood at McLaughlin. Okay. I'm here with Lauren, and my favorite part of homecoming was getting ready and taking pictures. Um, I'm Haley, and that was also my favorite part of homecoming. <laughs> We're here with Levi, and my favorite moment from homecoming was dancing with all the ladies. And we're here with Marnesia. My favorite part of homecoming is my dress. Okay, thank you. Next, here's a Frosty Fright announcement. Happy Halloween, Hornets. This week and this week only at Frosty Fruit, we will have 20% off slushies. Additionally, every slushie purchased puts your name in a raffle that will be announced on Halloween, October 31st. Here's some information for NHS applications. This is a Valley Center High School National Honor Society announcement. Who is eligible? Current VCHS sophomores, juniors, and seniors who are in good standing academically and behaviorally, who demonstrate exemplary scholarship, service, leadership, and character, and who also have a cumulative GPA of 3.0 or higher. Applications can be picked up in Ms. Layton's room, C43, and all applications are due no later than 3 p.m. on Friday, December the 8th. Here's a Red Ribbon Week announcement. Just a reminder that Red Ribbon Week is the week of October 23rd through the 27th. On Monday, it's Pajama Day, Put Drugs to Sleep. Tuesday, Lay Off Drugs, Beach Day. Wednesday, Drugs Can't Find Us, Camo Day. Thursday, Team Up Against Drugs, Jersey Day. And on Friday, Wear Red and Be Safe. Don't know what to do this weekend? Here's some ideas. Hi, I'm here with Avery Burks. All right, what are you doing this weekend? Well, um, so my birthday weekend, I have a soccer tournament, but then the weekend after, I'm getting a tattoo. Hi, I'm here with Anavia. All right, what are you doing this weekend? I'm going to haunted houses. What's this up? Hi, I'm here with Deegan. All right, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, just laying in bed. What's this up? Next up is Would You Rather with Jeff. I'm here with Chris Anto. All right, I'm going to be asking you some Would You Rather questions. Coke or Dr. Pepper? Dr. Pepper. All right, Nike or Adidas? Nike. And Android or iPhone? iPhone. All right, All right I'm here with Alec. All right, I'm going to be asking you Would You Rather questions. All right. Coke or Dr. Pepper? Dr. Pepper. Nike or Adidas? Nike. Android or iPhone? iPhone. All right, I'm here with? Stockwell. All right, I'm going to ask you some would you rather questions. Okay. Coke or Dr. Pepper? Uh, I'm kind of a Coke kind of guy. All right, Nike or Adidas? Um, I like the three, three lines. All right, and Android or iPhone? Um, Apple kind of guy. All right. And here's Michaela with today's weather. Hi, my name is Michaela Barnes, and today's high is 78, and today's low is 53. Now for a quick blast to the past, let's wrap up with this day in history. Stay, Stay classy, classy, VC. VC.
October 26, 2001. In Washington, President George W. Bush signs the USA Patriot Act more than a month after the September 11th attacks. The act gives federal authorities unprecedented ability to search, seize, detain, or eavesdrop in their pursuit of possible terrorists. It will help law enforcement to identify, to dismantle, to disrupt, and to punish terrorists before they strike. 1972. American and North Vietnamese negotiators reach a ceasefire agreement. Henry Kissinger, President Richard Nixon's national security advisor, declares, We believe that peace is at hand. But the agreement soon collapses after South Vietnam objects. Months later, a new agreement is signed, ending America's military role in the Vietnam War. 1881. The gunfight at the OK Corral takes place in Tombstone, Arizona. That's where Wyatt Earp, his two brothers, and Doc Holliday confront Ike Clanton's gang. Three members of Clanton's gang are killed, while Earp's brothers are wounded. 1942. You're not crucifying people outside a church on Good Friday. Bob Hoskins, the character actor whose roles include Who Framed Roger Rabbit, The Long Good Friday, and Mona Lisa, is born in Britain. And 1946. Pat Sajak, longtime host of the game show Wheel of Fortune, is born in Chicago. Day in History, October 26th, Carlotta Bradley, The Associated Press.